There were only two people on the continent who could know my secret. He kind of looked at me and goes, son, you must be the first Muslim redneck there ever was. Living here is a choice that people before me made, and I can make a different choice. What you're longing for is really a state of mind rather than a physical place. We have a deeply unfeminist immigration system. We're seeing in real time the testing laboratory for how to create a perfect authoritarian dystopia. It should be enough for me to be a human, but apparently it's not. I don't want to be strong. I just want to fix things so it doesn't happen anymore. This is me, you know, this is my story. This is my club. This is my tribe. I am slightly cynical about the strength of commitment to reform that's coming from the Home Office. In no way, shape or form can it possibly be said that the UK is at the forefront of, of protecting Ukrainian refugees. Make us stateless, declare us stateless, so we can at least apply to a country that gives a damn. How can we inculcate more of a feeling of belonging at a global level. There's just so much that the displaced don't tell the native born, and it's all around dignity and shame. Like the people in charge are worried about everyone else's biases when the core problem is their own. They're terrified that if they look like they're soft, there'll be all these stories in the Daily Mail and the Daily Telegraph and so on. I hadn't felt discriminated against until this point. When you're a foreigner in a foreign country, you are more vulnerable, and it can be a fantastic source of strength and of inspiration. If you haven't tried it, you have to try. You always start with a map and a glass of whiskey. We can only counter these broad brush negative stereotypes by telling individual stories of human beings.